What's up, swimmers and swimmers? I am Coleman Bedhead Hodges. I'm here in Knoxville, Tennessee at the 2023 Women's NCAA Championships. There were a plethora of exciting and mind-blowing swims last night, and we are gonna break down one of them right now. The Women's 100 Breast saw a stacked field, including defending champion Caitlin Dobler, Tennessee Olympian Mona McSherry, and of course, the Texas two-step and duo of Anna Ellent and Olympic champion Lydia Jacoby. I think going into this race, it was fair to pick Lydia Jacoby to win. I know I certainly did, but a 50 into this race, I think no one picked Lydia Jacoby to win, and yet she still did. All things that we're going to get to the bottom of in this video. Before we start this race analysis, if you could like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel, that would help us out a ton. We would really appreciate it, and I might even send you a personalized thank you comment which reminds me, leave a comment on what you think of this video and what videos you wanna see next. So let's analyze the results first. Lydia Jacoby was out 26.9, which really wasn't that much slower than everyone else. Anna Allen was out 26.5, Mona McSherry 26.7, Caitlin Dobler 27.0, and actually NC State's Heather McCausland was also 27.0. So that really leads us to the back half. I just wanna take a moment to appreciate the variety of starts we see in this heat, especially from those top four swimmers. We've got Dobbler with her elbows all the way pulled back. We've got Lydia with her elbows here. And then we've got Anna and Mona who are already in streamline, just 0.35 seconds after the starter has gone. I always love a variety of starts. We all know that Lydia Jacoby is not known for her front end speed and Mona and Anna are. So first 25, things are pretty bunched up. You can see Anna has a slight advantage. Let's look at that last fifth and really analyze from a technical perspective what Lydia is doing to make herself so freaking good on that last 50. Her technique just allows her to keep her hips very high in the water compared to Mona McSherry, who is getting very vertical when she comes up and then out. Lydia barely breaks the surface with her stroke. So there's less bobbing up and down, which means there is more staying even in the water. It's gonna help you float more, going up and down more or going up and down less. Mona's is a little more of a power based stroke, whereas Lydia's can really come on strong in the back half. We're five yards out. Lydia Jacoby looks so far behind. She looks like she's in fifth. Doesn't seem like she should be able to win at all, right? Mona McSherry looks half a body length ahead. Anna Ellent looks ahead of her. Caitlin Dobler looks like she's about third, but still in it. So two yards out, the last stroke. It looks like they're about even. Uh, it looks like the field has caught Anna a little. Mona looks really primed to take that title, but then watch the timing of Lydia's last stroke. It is perfect while Mona has to take a half stroke. Boom, she gets her hand on the wall first. NCAA champion is a freshman. I'll let the reaction play because it's a pretty cool one. And that is how and why Lydia Jacoby, Olympic champion, Texas freshman, won her first NCAA title in the 100 breaststroke. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and leave a comment below in how you think Lydia won this. If there's anything I missed, let me know on it. I'll see you next time.